Speaking of big name guests, we save the best for last. Yeah, that's right. Former Charger safety Vincey Glenn joining us in studio tonight. Vincey, welcome back to KUSI. Last time we were doing a playoff game years ago here. Now, uh, welcome back. Uh, your thoughts about uh, tonight's ball game? I think it's going to be a great one uh, for, for two reasons. One, it's a lot of hype behind it. And two, you got two great quarterbacks that are playing at a very high level right now. It's going to be a great show. Well, let's start and talk about Andrew Luck. I mean, everybody's buzzing about what an up-and-coming quarterback. I mean, he might be one of the best at the end of his career. What do the Chargers have to do tonight to stop him? Well, I think the whole game plan is you got to stop the run first. They're going to run Trent Richardson. They're fourth in the league in rushing. They, they run the ball 30 times a game for 142 yards. If you don't stop the run, you don't have to worry about Luck throwing the ball. I promise you that. Because they don't like him running, getting sacked and getting hit a lot anyway. So they're going to run the ball. That's why they for Trent Richardson and so the, you got to stop the run then you worry about the pass and I think that's how it's going to play out. Speaking of what are they I mean I mean, you probably don't get to see any Indianapolis Colts game tape but are they doing anything that's X and O's cutting edge or is it just a case of a, a real good quarterback who has matured beyond the level you'd expect at this age? You know what he's matured a lot I and mean, I think adversity brings a lot of great things to teams and they went through a lot as a team last year uh, with the coach being ill and he coming in and the Peyton Manning hoopla leaving and behind that and that's a big shoes to fill yeah. and he did a great job on the field and off the field but he comes from that kind of institution where he's primed for that knowing his father and things like that and that's why he was able to succeed. Is it safe to assume that as a former defensive back that you tend to focus in on the DBs a little more? And if so, how do you think the Chargers are doing? Well, I think they're doing very, <laughs> they're not doing very well. They're, you know, they're struggling because it's a communication. When you lose so many starters in a secondary, it's all about communication. And when you're out there and you don't trust one another, it's a big trust factor back there. And not knowing where somebody is that used to be there for so long is very hard to do. How do they tweak that? I think it's more on Eric Weddle. I think he has to teach and also learn, lead, and you lead by making plays yourself and having guys follow and just helping young guys on the mental side of football more so than the physical side. Well, we've got some video of Eric Weddle. I mean, uh, there's someone to build around, right? I mean, he's yeah. he, he's, he's, he's a, a very good, smart player, but he never had the toolage of an older guy kind of showing him the handles coming in where he can pass it on. I think it's his time to pass the torch to help younger guys get better because they're going to be a product of him to see. Uh, Vincy, you know, in the past uh, two years, and you just mentioned Trent Richardson, he's led the NFL in a statistic called YAC, Y-A-C. <laughs> Can you explain what that means and why it's so important? You always have to catch. <laughs> you always have to contact. I'm a case. DB. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's tackling. It's, it's just tack tackling is a game thing. Tackling is not one on one. Everybody said this guy's a great tackle. No, the defense runs to the ball and he's there first and he gets a lot of credit for the tackling. But tackling is a game thing. These are great athletes. They have a lot of mobility, a lot of speed and power. You cannot take these guys down by yourself. You need help. Well, let's let's talk. About, he's a load to bring down, right? I mean, he's I, a beast. But <laughs> let's talk about. And now the rules are such that you have to be careful how you tackle. I mean, could you play in the modern day game? No. I was a very physical player. Yeah, I remember I like that. I mean, but, and, and, and could you, I mean, it's, 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 it's different. It's, all you have to do is know the rules of engagement and you can play the game. I mean, I never intentionally hit anyone in the helmet. I'm sure my helmet hit somebody else's helmet on occasion, but no player will ever just run in there and just bang their head into somebody and say, let me knock you out. I mean, you're going to knock yourself out and get hurt. And I think more injuries are coming from guys trying to avoid the head-to-head -head hits uh, than, than anything else, too, as well. Vincy, you know, the, the game uh, di almost didn't happen here on mm -hmm. KUSI tonight because of the blackout. What are your thoughts of doing away with the TV blackouts? Uh, you know, I don't, it's a business, and I don't really, I understand the TV blackouts, but it's more about the product you put on the field. If you put good product on the field, you never have to worry about a product. All right. So <laughs> you're predicting a Chargers victory? <laughs> I think it's going to be close. Uh, if they get off to a good start, I think they have a chance, but they have to come out the blocks. Okay. Vincey, thank you for uh, making it in, man. Good to no, see you again. Thank you. We'll, we'll do it again down the road.